I prepared for you 13 beautiful steps. Ready? If you're tired, I'll give you five minute break. No, you're good? Okay, we, we don't see each other every day. Unfortunately, I have too many things throughout the weeks. But Baruch Hashem, I have opportunity. I want to learn with you. And by Zad Hashem, let's get from here something juicy with us to life and make some change. Put some AC, I need some AC. Sorry. Aria Kadosh says, Aria Kadosh says, we have four spiritual worlds. Asiya, Yetzila, Biriya, Atzilut. Asiya is preparation of this world. Atzilut is Olam Ha'elion, Shammai, where there's a Shechina. As soon as month of Elul begins, Hashem brings down special spiritual air that every heart, every person is a little bit nervous. You know, you see every person a little bit tensed. Not because Sukkot panel to buy, Etrogin to buy, Shofar to blow. No, no, no. Each one, each Neshama feels, I'm going to judgment, a little bit nervous. You want it, the one person a little bit scared a little bit. Why? Because I'm going to judgment. But with this, if person does Teshuvah and month of Elu, he feels tremendous happiness because being he's being attached to the ultimate light. That light is called Dikna da Arich. Ariza says, Dikna da Arich, that is Poshet Yemino le Kabel Shavim. Ki Yemincha Peshuta le Kabel Shavim. We say this on Slichot Hashem, your right hand is open to accept those who do Teshua. Not left hand. Hashem's hand is open throughout the year, but right hand. Not you have to come to Hashem for Teshua. Hashem comes to you. Hashem looks for us. We know what is. Even though you don't have minyan, you're alone. Even though you just seen five minutes ago. Even though you have no proof. that you, No guarantee that you're going to be doing good. Nothing, nothing to soak it all. Nothing, no calculations of your actions. Nothing. You come, I take. That's all. This is how month of Elul so strong. Why? Anile dodi. We do the am for my loved one, my loved one for me. This is a result in Shar Ruach HaKodesh. And you know why? And now I know why it's in Shar Ruach HaKodesh. Why? Because why person is not happy in life? Because he sin, he's scared from the sin. But once you know I should forgive everything, right now you came to Shur, you know I should forgive everything. You walk around happy, no more thinking about it. The happiness says Ben Ishchai brings you to Ruach HaKodesh. You will see things that the world doesn't see. Why? Because you're happy. When you're happy, your learning the Torah is different. Your enjoyment, your remembering, your feeling, your, your connecting with Hashem is very different. Number two, as we said, Dikna Darich, Yemino Peshuta. Hashem accepts everyone, like, you're so tired right now. It's uh, at 9, 9 p.m., you're tired all day. You want to go home and sleep. But when you open your door, you see your tiny baby, and then you say, Abba John, Your baby running to you. How do you feel? <laughs> Energized. This is what Hashem wants from us. Hashem says, What are you sitting like? Go around to me. I'm waiting for you to come to me. Give me a hug. Say, Hashem, I came back. I want you. And I forgive you everything Hashem says. Did so Hashem be Oh, Seek Hashem when he's found. Okay. One day, Rizka now came to his son. What his son's name was? Label it. I heard this year, yesterday, this story I heard yesterday. And the first time in my life, I heard someone around like walking. 20. Three years ago, one day, Briska Rao called his son Levi and said, Come over here, I'll give you one ruble. If you tell me where is God, where is God, I'll give you a ruble. You know what he said? Abba, I'll give you ten if you show me where there is no God. Wow. Five year old boy, genius, son of Briska Rao. Father says, I'll give you a dollar, tell me where there is God. He says, I'll give you ten. If you show me where there is no God. <laughs> Brisk around. His son, five-year-old boy. To show you where is Hashem found? Everywhere. But you want to hear the second answer of our walking game? Hashem is not there where you don't want him there. Where you kick him out from. If you kick out Hashem from here, Hashem is not here. You make a certain gathering. 
and you bring two women not dressed properly, you pay them money. You pay money to them to pay yourself. Your son, Yeshiva, you bargain with them. To bring two not kosher women, to make 20, 30, 40, 50, 300, 500, 1,000 men sin, you pay them. Hashem says, why are you kicking me out from my party? There's nothing to do. Why are you kicking me out? How about I realize you go to these type of parties? Absolutely not. <laughs> Even if it's what, what was the question? It's a big problem <laughs> to go places like this. <laughs> I'll be honest with you asking questions. I'm answering. Very good question, boys. This is practical question. It's a big practical problem. You tell people not to bring those people. Sometimes they don't listen to you. They want to show to the other part of the family that they got also long nails. Like, you know, they can, they can uh, show off as well, whatever. Nasty, that's not sure. You go, I go until I can tell it. They know I don't like this stuff, so they put me in the corner. I see, I, I have sometimes chance to give, get my piece of fish Put in my mouth until someone starts singing. <laughs> but once I hear a woman's voice, I say, Atzla Haraba. Or, 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 I sit there, man singing, no problem. I don't get it. But then my wife tells me, I think they began mixed dancing. Then I get up and leave. But to go there and stay, what, what are you doing? Why should you even be there? I got me. I support my congregation. I have no choice. I don't go dance over there. If I see this studio, never. You know, stay look at there. It's a problem. Why would you? Would you we, we are talking right now that what you watch, Satan controls. Why would I give such a control to Satan? Why would I do such a thing? Do you understand? I'll tell, you remind me a story. You know what I'll tell you? It's not story days. I'm not, I don't like giving stories, but I don't know. Today, a lot of things of Ravaro walking coming today. It's not, it's not this your type today, but it's just coming. Ravaro walking in 2001, 23 years ago, he told us a story. I have a note. In all Simcha, I wrote it down. There was a family of Rav Eliyahu Lopian. Rav Eliyahu Lopian, you know, such a grass called Padaroznik? Mm -hmm. yeah, grass. I, used to that word. What's the name of the I don't know, one of those. Krops and Arvids. He's a. Krops and Arvids. Krops and Arvids. Okay. His wife, Lo Alenu Vula Alechem, Rav Eliyahu Lopian's wife, she got sick and her neck, the, 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 the throat became like this. She was already dying. She couldn't swallow, nothing. They called the doctor. Doctor came. Doctor came and said, she has maybe an hour and a half. Get ready. They have three, four children. That time he's 41, 42. <coughs> that time he's 41, 42, and she's like 38, 37. I'm really sorry, Rabbi Ariel is asking, when is Zera Shimshon starts? Ten minutes. On ten minutes. So, Rabbi Leo Lopian, the, the tremendous Gaon Ador, Tamit Chacham, he went out to his yard not to show his children, not to make his wife feel bad. He went out and started crying that he's losing his wife an hour and a half. Suddenly, an old man came and said, hey, Rabbi, why are you crying? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, he says, You see your padaroznik where you walk? Yes. Take this, wash well, put in the pot, boil it with the water, take like 25, 30 drops of water into her neck. 15 minutes, everything will clear out. All this balham will come out. She'll be fine. He started wiping. She said, What are you saying? Where are you? Hey, where are you? Disappeared. So he said, maybe it's this grass, took the grass, washed it, put in the kastrule, you know, <coughs> pan, pot, pot. water, pot, <coughs> put that 
thing, boiled hot water, took into the... Syringe. Syringe. Put in that, make it a little bit warm, not so cold, not so hot. He said, uh, Esther, open your mouth. Look, you know, no, no breathing. So you start putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-four, twenty-five. He left. Five minutes later, she's throwing up. All this garbage came out. She's, whoa, you gave me my love. Said, oh my God, this is crazy. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Two years later, they come to Israel. They moved to Israel. 25 years later, the same sickness came back. The same sickness came back. Already, they don't know what to do. Father called his son. In issue, he said, listen, there's a Hasidic rabbi, I don't know, Vishnitsa, Pupa, uh, Belza rabbi, I don't know. Go to the rabbi and ask for bracha. Nobody knows this story. Rabbi Leo Lopian didn't even say to his children what happened. So Belza rabbi, sitting in the office, accepting people's brachot, comes son of Rabbi Leo Lopian and says, I'm sorry, can you say the full name to my mother? He said, what's the name? He gives his name, he says, my friend. The house that Eliyahu Anavi came personally and gave bracha, my power is not going to help. He said, Rabbi, you're mixing my family up with somebody else. I don't know what you're talking about. He said, go ask your father. Hmm. He came. He said, yes, it's true. I didn't tell anybody Eliyahu Anavi appeared to me that time. I was shy to say. I was scared to say because when I wanted to ask him, differentiate the flowers, he disappeared. I didn't know. But I knew it's Eliyahu Anavi. He said, this time is not going to help. Why? Because he said, there's no power. But that's already Mina Shamayim. She has to leave. Three days later, she passed away. Rabbi Eliyahu Lopian was such a big tzaddik. He was blind on one eye when he was 80 years old already. And second eye was half seen, half not. He's sitting in yeshiva learning Torah. Okay? A student came and said, Rabbi, my sister, this famous story, everybody knows this. My sister is getting married tomorrow. Can I go to the wedding? So what's the question? Oh yeah, uh, she's not religious. Not going to be a religious wedding. All the Maya Bacharnim will be there. Pretty soon. I said, oh, you shouldn't go. But, but I want to tell you, Rabbi. No matter what I see, I don't have desire for a woman at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't hold myself. I have no desire at all, Rabbi. I'm so woo. Chazak. Nothing, I don't feel nothing. Okay. I'll speak to you later. Grandson came. He took the video and said, Jadushka, Bobo, come, I take you home. As they went outside, the woman passed by. He said, stop. He said to his grandson, come over here. Find that guy and tell him he's fully mentally, physically sick. He needs to go to the hospital. He said, Bobo, what are you saying? He said, I am 80 year old, <laughs> blind on one eye, second eye, half doesn't work, woman best, I close my eyes not to have desire. He's 18 year old boy, he doesn't have desire already, he's fully sick. <laughs> he's mentally, physically fully sick. He needs hospital, he needs doctor. You understand that guy fake? If such a rabbi needs to protect himself from etc., who you think you are? Like, you know? So therefore, we have to be very careful. Okay, let's go next. No matter, no matter, no matter what you sin, how you sin, say Hashem, I'm sorry, and Hashem forgives you. Elu, number six, we have only 13. Elu, it's time to do Cheshbon Nefesh. What's Cheshbon Nefesh? Pretend as if you took your soul and you're calculating. How I speak to elders. How I speak to children, how am I around my house, how am I with my wife, how do I talk to my kids, how do I talk to my parents, everybody's okay, how do they treat me, how do they talk to me, like you know, all this, how am I at work, how am I in the street, how am I with the congregation shul, do I cause people sin when they come to shul, do I talk to them, or I don't talk to them, like you know, all this, even though it has nothing to do with people sitting here, but it's obligation to know. Going to shul, somebody talks to you in shul. I saw yesterday on Shabbat, I was proud of one person. He had like a neighbor that talks to him. He quietly got up, 
came three minutes late specifically for this reason the other person came he came three minutes late he saw that spot was busy he right away went and he said in different spot i looked at him he said elu i want to improve wow you know if elu shouts through your face you on the right track next comes gimana sota page khat amudalev yet a ha amarava rava said yet a rasholet alma she enam root yet a controls whatever you i see so if you guard your eyes yet a doesn't show you know the problem with yet a eyes if person does not guard his eyes when he pray shmona isra during the holy moment that time satan plays when he says on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur Chas Shalom Satan plays so therefore when a person clean he controls his eyes there's no dirt no problems question to all of you let's see who's emet and who's not today I asked you a question from Gemara Yoma page 20 9a in Gemara is asking question. What is terrible when a person has fever on summer or person has fever on winter? Summer. Winter. Huh? Winter. What do you say? Summer. Summer. Thank you. It shows me that you need the answers also. Thank you. Uh, the answer is what? Winter. Winter. Why? Because when you are cold, outside cold, inside cold and yet you have fever means too much heat is bothering your body summer already hot a little bit heat shows you hot but when you're in the winter you're cold it's freezing and you still here you need like a little bit stronger medicine but i'm not saying still i'm not the doctor for this take whatever zero five percent five yeah, milligram five milligram but it shows you when person has fever Fever and winter, it's harder, it's terrible. Mularam, you want proof, right? I felt very bad when I hit Did you ever did you ever use your oven in the house? Oven to cook food, to boil food, to warm food. Yes. Tell me one thing. When your oven becomes harder, when you used it already ten times today, or when you didn't use it at all? You want to make hot food. Food. You want to warm I, your food. When I use it, 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 it's hotter. When you used it, yeah. it's already hot. But when it's fully cold and now you're doing, the heat is working very strong now or very slow? So so strong. It's very exciting. strong. So yeah, that yeah. shows you when a person has fever and winter, <laughs> where body is cold, that the heat goes higher. Now the question to all of you, where am I going? From here I'm going to deep. Root of Yom Kippur. Deep, deep. You walk in the street. You walk in the street of Manhattan. A guy bought a uh, Mr. Pig and it's boiling. Okay? And it tastes so good. Smells so good. Smells so good. You enjoy the smell. What is stronger in life? When you enjoy the smell or when you eat the taste? Mm -hmm. Huh? What stronger benefit smell. person gets uh, from smell. the smell benefit. or from the taste? Smell. 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 Just thinking about smell. it, what it tastes like. Why don't you taste it? Smell. Taste it, you just say it's yummy, that's it. Well, but you're thinking about it. Affect your soul through the smell. There's no physical benefit. Why don't you taste it? Let me give you proof and you'll agree. You went to steakhouse. They took out steaks, it smells like crazy. Yeah. But when you eat, you see it's a little bit raw, mm. a little bit doesn't go, a nice. little bit not, a little bit too fatty, a little bit dry. So when you smell, you enjoy 100%. So perfect. But when you taste, it's always 98, 95, 90% or less. What is stronger sin? Looking at a woman or thinking of it? Or being with a woman? Of thinking of her. Looking is one thing, but thinking about her. Don't add words. Ah. Looking at her? When person sins, 
by looking at certain women or being with certain women. Sin. When he gets sin. stronger sin. 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 Comes Gemara Yoma. Gemara Yoma, page 29a. And Gemara Yoma says, Hirure Avera, Kashim Avera. Desire of sin, it's more than sin itself. Why? Because when person sins, maybe something goes not good, something minus two, three percent. But when person sees something, he enjoys hundred percent. So therefore, Gemara says, how steak smelling? Enjoyment hundred percent, and you're not allowed to taste it. It's never that far. Same thing by looking at a woman. When person looks at a woman. He thinks, oh, I didn't do no sin, I just looked at it. Looking and thinking is much more than actually sinning Rav Simcha. You with me, I know that. Kaz Gemara Sota. Kaz Gemara Sota, page 17. Rabbi Adel, Bruchim Abayim. Ah, thank you. Kaz Gemara Sota. Maybe I should ask him this question, huh? Rabbi Adel, can I ask you one question? Yeah. You walking in the middle of the street. A certain guy is making nevela shish kebab, and you enjoy the smell. What's more enjoyment you get by smelling it or by tasting it? Why? Smelling. Why? Active brain, everything. Ah, when you smell, you smell enjoyment hundred percent. When you taste, maybe it's a little bit low, maybe it's a little not cool. Salty, not so, salty. so now we go to do tshuva. So, what is sin a stronger sin? When a person lives with certain woman that's not allowed to be with, or when he's looking at her and thinking about her, when he gets more sin, thinking. Oh, Gimara Yoma, page twenty nine a, Chafteta Mudale, Hirure Avera, Kashime Avera. I never take shiur and talk about it. Why am I doing this now? Because when you're thinking and you're processing, you're cleaning the highway of your thoughts, whatever you missed, messed up throughout the year. So now thinking about it, you're cleaning the highway of your head. Maybe you were thinking about somebody. If somebody says to me, any member of Shara Eliyahu, Rabbi, the whole year, I never even once, for one second, had such a thought, I'm going to personally take him and put him in a mental institution. <laughs> or put him in the cemetery. Liar. We're not in that generation. We're not that holy. And if so, we need to do Teshuvah. What's Teshuvah? Hashem, I'm sorry. I did never do it again. Once you do that, you grow. You grow and you grow higher. Comes Gemara Sota, Yudzayin Abudav. I'll start, you finish. Ishmi Isha Zahu! Shekhinah Benem. When does Shekhinah come between husband and wife? When Ishmi Isha Zahu. When they give Zuchut to each other. She has potential to go to Mikva today. She says, no, I'm going to go tomorrow. She has a thing. Maybe over that husband will do Zerla Vatala. One Zerla Vatala, a million souls he kills. She goes, no. She says, I need to go to Mikva tonight. She's going to do find a way just to go tonight. Or he knows his wife came from Mikva. He goes to different room. I'm going to do in different room. What are you doing? Ishwi Shazak. You have to give Zuchut to each other. You have to support each other. You have to be for each other. Build each other. And then you have Shekhinah in your house. Why do you have Shekhinah in your house? More than this happiness... There's nothing to, to say in life. Stage number nine. Gemara Shabbat, page Kuv Dalet. Honestly, can I go with you this Gemara today? I want to talk to you about why Aleph is Aleph, why Bet is Bet, why Gimel is Gimel. Can we go with you? Huh? Let's go. Let's go with you together, guys. You're going to enjoy today the secrets of every letter. Can I give you? Please. Ah, it's not every day. I'm not nice every day. I give hard stuff. Zerashim on top. Top, hard topics and today we're gonna go to <coughs> Gemara from Aleph to Taf we're gonna know why each letter comes in the alphabet this is in Gemara Shabbat page 104a Kuv Dalet Amud Dalet but the main letter we're going to know about, letter pay. Which letter? Pay. pay. Why do we have two types of pay? What do we have? Pay. And then? Second one? Pay. How the Gemara calls them? 
I'll give you a hint in English. Open pay, close pay. Pay patuach, pe satum. Ah, you see? He caught it. I love when people catch this stuff right away. Pe patuach means open your mouth and speak. Pe satum means close your mouth and don't speak. Ready? This is why we have two pays. Pe patuach, pe satum. Sometimes mitzvah to speak, sometimes mitzvah to be quiet. In Talmud Gitin, where was mitzvah to speak, people did not speak? Terrible problems happened. <coughs> Gemara Gitin, I believe page 56. Kiss him, kiss him, kiss him, he's right. Counter bar counter, very good. When counter bar counter happened, if people would say, hey, what are you doing? You're embarrassing somebody. You're doing, uh, speak up. We wouldn't have Chutba Beit HaMikdash. They said, quiet. We lost Beit HaMikdash. Roy John, what happened? I'm boring. I'm not. So now, Gemara is asking a question. Why? Aleph Bet. What's Aleph Bet? Aleph Bina. What's Aleph Bina? Aleph Bina. What's Aleph Bina? In the beginning, learn in the wisdom. Beginning. Aleph, in the beginning, Bina, learn wisdom. Thank you. Learn wisdom. What's wisdom? Learn Hashem. Because if person knows Hashem, he knows world. Person doesn't know Hashem, he doesn't know nothing. Aleph, Bina. Then comes Gimel Dalet. What's Gimel Dalet? Gimel has a leg. In the back, and he has to run after Dalet. When Dalet has leg, does his leg little bit goes backwards to Gimel, or he goes forwards to Hay? Ah, Sofrim. Dalet goes a little bit backwards or forwards? Backwards. Why? Why Dalet has to go to backwards? Because poor man who's dull has to be open to Gimel. A man that gives the car to poor, he should be able to take right away and say, No, no, I'm going to take, I'm not going to take, give him a hard time to take money. No, he gives it right away, take it right away, be accessible to him. That, Gimel, Dalet. Then comes letter what? Guys, help me. Hey, hey. <coughs> hey, wow. Hey, wow, these are the names of Hashem. Then comes Zayn and Chet. Zayn, Chet, Tet, Yud, Kav, Lamed. How many letters we said? Six. Zayn, Chet, Tet, Yud, Kav, Lamed. If you run to give Tzedakah, first you know the knowledge, and then you give Tzedakah to poor, right? Then what happens? HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Zayn, Chet, right? Zan Otcha. Hashem will feed you. Vechan Otcha. Hashem will make you Chen. What's Chen? Pleasant. Hashem will make you pleasant. You'll be pleasant looking. You'll be having everything enough in your life. Then what? Tet. Yud. Metiv lecha. Hashem will do good to you. Venoten lecha yirusha. Hashem will inherit you. Then comes Kav. Vekoshen lecha keter. Hashem gives you crown. Leolam haba. Lamed. Leolam haba. In olam haba. Then comes Mem petucha. Mem setuma. What's mem petucha mem setuma? Ma'amar patuach, ma'amar satum. There's going to be time, how, for you to speak in a proper way to speak or not to speak. Then comes nun kefufa, nun pshuta. Ne'eman kafuf, ne'eman pashut. You know what that means? When people trust you, when you poor, when you simple, when nobody knows you, then people will be trusting you when you fully large, when you became big, when you became famous. Once you become trustworthy, when you are small, you become trustworthy when you are big. Then comes Samech Ayin, Samoch Aniim, support poor people. Another version, Simanim Aseba Torah Ukneota. When you learn Torah, put symbols, put signs on the Torah to remember and to grab it. When you have signs in the Torah, you'll remember this forever. 
Now comes the main thing that we need to know. Pe kefufa, pe peshuta. You know the Gemara says pe kefufa, pe peshuta? Pe patuach, pe satum. Open mouth, close mouth. It's very important to speak when people ask you to speak. When nobody asks you to speak, it's important not to speak. When you value your words, you cut your words to speak a little bit, every word of yours have bracha. Who will learn this from? We saw a million times with our own eyes. Rav Chaim Kanievsky. Bua. Bracha v'atzlacha. Doesn't talk too much. No, hi, bye, how are you? Sit down, get up. No, not talking too much. When you talk less, each word of yours have tremendous powers. You speak. Tzadik gozer, HaKadosh Baruch Hu When? When you protect your mouth from not speaking too much. Then we have Tzadik Kefufa, Tzadik Peshuta, Tzadik Kafuf, Tzadik Pashut. Hainu, Neeman Kafuf, Neeman Pashut. Same thing, Tzadik. When he's small Tzadik, nobody knows him. People trust him. One day he's going to be famous Tzadik, big Tzadik. And people will continue Trusting him. Hosiv l'cha katuf kifah al kifato mikan shenit na Torah bimnod rosh. Then comes kuf. Kuf is kadosh. Once you keep all these ways, you become kadosh. Resh. Letter resh stands for who? Rasha. My time. Madar aped the kuf meresh. A kuf kadosh should turn his face from Rasha. Don't learn from his. Crooked actions and be like him. He's Rasha, stay away from him. Amar HaKadosh Baruch Hu En ani yachol istakel be Rasha Hashem says I cannot look at Rasha. Can you imagine Someone comes to your house Goes into your bedroom And you don't want him in your house But you have no choice, you have to tolerate him. For example, your father-in-law, your wife says My father cannot go anywhere, take him to your house. And he says, I want to only come to your house and sleep in your bedroom. And you still have to see his face all day long in front of your face. And you have nowhere to go. What are you going to do? Sit and tolerate. This is how Hashem tolerates the shame in this world. Can you imagine? My time. My other appet I get the coup. The guy bears. I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to go to the bar. Rasha. Hashem says, if Rasha says, I will turn my way and I'll be tzaddik. Hashem says, I'm giving him my crown. That's the, sh- that's the power of Choser B'Tshuva. A person who makes Tshuva, Hashem gives him crown. My time, carry the Kuv Talia. Why the letter of Kuv is hanging? The But if he makes Tshuva, Hashem says, I will take him. There's a still opening on top. Of letter of Kuf, there is opening Hashem. If he makes the Shuvah, I will still will take him back. Hashem should help us to learn and grow in Torah. Shin is what? Sheker. Tav is what? Tav is Emet. Finishing. Emet. Tav. My time. Sheker. Mekorvan Mile. She. Ker. She. Ker. Letters are very close to each other. Shin Kuf Resh. Person lies, puts things together. Emet mrach kan mile. Why sheker close to each other? And emet is far from each other. Aleph there, mem in the middle, tav is all the way in the back. Told in the end. Why is so far? Sheker very close to each other. Why I mention shikr shikhiyach? To teach us fakeness, always accessible. They're very near, near each other. Rav Zilcha, you hear this? Yes. Listen to me. Tomorrow somebody asks you to give the Torah, you have to give this. Why Sheker, Shin, Kuf, Resh, three letters near each other? <coughs> Sheker. Now, Moshe, you with me? Three letters of Shin, Kuf, Resh, very near each other. Why? Because fakeness is accessible everywhere. You don't have to be genius to lie. But Ahmed, Aleph, beginning letter... Man middle, Tav is in the end. Why so far? Emet is not accessible so easy. You have to look for Emet. You have to search for Emet. Sheker is everywhere. Chirachado karekoi. Be'emet 
Malaban Labone Kushta Koi Shikra Lokoi. When you write Shekhar has only one leg. Cannot sit on the chair with one leg, not fall. Emet bench with two legs each. When you sit on it, you can sit without falling. Bezad Hashem, <coughs> we're gonna start in three minutes. Zen Hashem Shon, Zen Hashem Shon will be only six minutes or ten minutes today, very short. I want to say thank you for everyone for your time. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. Amen.